So from a complicated and a typical question, let us now move on to a simpler one. The question says, what number must be added to the expression 16a squared minus 12a to make it a perfect square? And we have got four answer options here, which is 9 by 4, 11 by 2, 13 by 2 and 16. So which of these numbers has to be added to this expression so that it becomes a perfect square? The expression should become a perfect square, right? Now, if you look at the given expression, we have got two terms, 16a squared minus 12a. And we'll be adding some number to this so that it becomes a perfect square. Now for such an expression to become a perfect square, it must be in the form of x plus or minus y whole square, right? x plus y whole square is x square plus 2xy plus y square. x minus y whole square is x square minus 2xy plus y square. Okay, so we must try and express this in the form of x plus or minus y whole square, which is x square plus or minus 2xy plus y square. Okay, so you know, you look at the right hand side here, x square plus or minus 2xy plus y square. And look at this expression, 16a square minus 12. So we have got some resemblance here, right? Or we'll have to express this expression in the form of x square plus or minus 2xy plus y square. The moment we are able to do this by adding some number here, we can take it as x plus y or x minus y whole square and it becomes a perfect square. Then. So let's let's try and do that, right? Some number has to be added. There is some missing number which has to be added here. Now, how do we express this? This is x square. Now, x square is 16a square. So x will be 4a. 4a square is 16a square. So 4a square. And since it is negative, we have to go with negative sign. So minus now 2 x y so 2 into 4 a 2 into 4 a 2 a b right so let's say we are adding the term y here right uh, the term y let's say plus y square right y square is nothing but the question mark here right or we can say question mark is y square now look at it this 16 a square and 4 a square anyways balance right that is ruled out now minus 2 a minus 12 a should be minus 2 into 4 a into y and question mark is anyway y square there right are you able to follow for us 4 a is like x we are trying to find out what is y so we can say minus 12 a is equal to minus 2 into 4 a into y so 4 a goes three times here and minus sign also gets cancelled so what do we know y is equal to 3 by 2 y is equal to 3 by 2 that's it so we have expressed this I'm, I'm sure you're able to follow the question mark here represents y square okay and this is like x square minus 2x square plus y square so what is y 3 by 2 now the question said what number must be added we are adding question mark which is y square so the question mark which is y square will be equal to 3 by 2 square 3 by 2 square is 9 by 4 so by adding 9 by 4 to the given expression it becomes a perfect square what kind of a perfect square understand if you add 9 by 4 this will be like 4a whole square minus 2 into 4a into y is 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 whole square so it looks like 4a minus 3 by 2 whole square so this is why it becomes a perfect square by adding 9 by 4 we can express it as 4a minus 3 by 2 whole square right which is a perfect square whatever be the value of a when you you know take it it becomes a perfect square when we simplify it it becomes a perfect square so the answer for this question has to be option a 9 by 4 right so when I add when we add 9 by 4 the given expression can be expressed as x minus y whole square so that's one way of simplifying this question you can cut down a few steps here you need not you know do this kind of a solution right you can just look at the 2ab part and understand what has to be added however there is another way of answering such questions if you look at the given question and the answer options it is clearly independent of a right we need not worry about the value of a whatever be the value of a it becomes a perfect square right so let us assume some value of a in this expression and see what has to be added to keep it simple let's assume a is equal to 1 are you able to follow we are getting rid of the term a there right we need not worry about a since whatever a takes this 4a minus 3 by 2 whole square will become a perfect square so let's assume a is equal to 1 you can take any other value as well but to keep it simple let's take a equals to 1 so what happens 16 a square minus 12 a will be equal to 16 into 1 minus 12 into 1 which is 4 now what should be added to 4 so that it becomes a perfect square now what we can do just add 
the answer options one after the other and see if it can be taken as a perfect square. For example, let's substitute option number one, 9 by 4 in place of question mark. So what do we get? 4 plus 9 by 4. What is 4 plus 9 by 4? 16 plus 9, 25 by 4. Is 25 by 4 a perfect square? Yes, 25 by 4 can be taken as 5 by 2 whole square. That means 9 by 4 is the correct answer. Try with other options. Let's say if you substitute option number B here, 11 by 2. What do we get? 4 plus 11 by 2. What is 4 plus 11 by 2? 19 by 2. Is 19 by 2 a perfect square? No, it cannot be expressed as, you know, a perfect square. Same is the case with 13 by 2. 4 plus 13 by 2 will be 21 by 2. It's not a perfect square. Take 16. 4 plus 16, 20. Is 20 a perfect square? No. 20 is not a perfect square. So even 16 is ruled out. So either we can just substitute some value in place of A and then verify with the answer options or just compare 2AB with minus 12A and find out what is the number that has to be added.